hopefully reintegrate into society upon return, but also contribute significantly to wealth creation and shared prosperity. On this, you have the support of the government of Kenya, you have my commitment at a personal level to support the entire prison's fraternity in delivering on the mandate assigned to you by the Constitution of Kenya. Let me also commit that the infrastructure being developed, as I made a commitment, that you have a facility here that is being developed, the housing program here in Ruiru and the one in Shimolatewa. I want those facilities to be completed before the end of this year and the minister should come and open them for use by those who are waiting for those facilities. We will be discussing shortly the big program on housing with the ministry responsible so that we can deliver on our commitment on improving housing for all our prison servicemen, officers, and commanders. Let me also ask you, as you look into the big space available to you to correct, to provide correctional service, to rehabilitate those who are offenders, and to reform them so that re they can reintegrate into society, that we must, as a nation, continuously look out for those who want to abuse, even the religious sector, people who are masquerading as religious people, yet what they do is contrary to the teachings and to the beliefs of religion, whether they are Christians, Muslim, or indeed any other religion. What we are seeing in Kilifi, in Shakahola, is akin to terrorists. There is no difference between Mr. McKenzie, who pretends and postures as a pastor when, in fact, he is a terrible criminal. Terrorists use religion to advance their heinous acts. People like Mr. McKenzie 